Yeah. Now once again, just to show you, no Pandora's battery. It's flashing. Uh, now the custom firmware is installed, but we're not done quite just yet. Now what you want to do is you want to um, hold down the R button and turn the console on and make sure you hold down the R button. And I've done it the wrong way. Never fear. I can do it the right way now. Okay, I've turned it off again. I've got to put the camera down for this, but basically you hold the R1 button, the R button, and you turn the console on, and you keep it held down. Now it'll load into this menu here, and you'll want to go down to configuration. That's the second one down from the top, and you click that, and you want to go down to um, where is it? Ooh. UMD mode. It's one, two, three, four. Fifth down from the bottom, it will say UMD mode, currently normal UMD required. Now basically this will trick the thing into um, into thinking that there's a UMD there, and you want to keep changing that setting until it says Sony NP9660 no UMD for that setting there. Okay? Now once you've done that, you can go back and you can go exit exit recovery mode and now it'll load up the Sony thing oh it's green now and when it loads up for you it'll give you some prompts saying you know what language and what um, what time and date you want but since I kinda stuffed up starting the PSP it's already set them all so now, if I go into system settings, I can go system information. Now here it says system software 5.0 M334-4. Now if I go back into game, I can go to the memory stick and I've got a couple of games already on there. There's Echochrome and Burnout Legends and everything. Just start up Burnout Legends. SX, there we go. And there. Wait for it. There we go, it's loading. Burnout Legends. Custom firmware. Great. <laughs> EA Games, challenge everything. And there you go. One modded PSP for your delight. This has been NFISTFU on how to mod your PSP without a Pandora's battery. Um, thank you and have a good night. Oh, also, another thing you might want to know is, um, is if you want to put PSP games on your um, on your memory stick. You want to go to the memory stick here, and basically you want to make a um, a folder called ISO right there, right in the root of the um, uh, of the PSP memory card, and just copy all of your files there. Note that the um, that the custom firmware that comes with the installer that'll support ISOs and CSOs so you know if you want to compress it and save some space like I've done here then um, then just go ahead and do so uh, anyway well see ya